Hey everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Cleo for another toy of the day here on casterscorner.com. You can go to the website, you can follow us, we're at Casters Corner on all social media. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to our podcast, the Cornercast Podcast up on Apple Podcasts. Um, I think that's about it, right? Subscribe, the more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do and then we get to share them with you and that's been the best part of this journey. Um, and it's holiday time, so our friends over at Playmobil um, sent us over some Scooby-Doo sets that we're really excited about. Um, we spent like an hour, I spent like an hour putting these together in the office tonight. Um, and they were really fun and I think they were really original. I thought they were really, um, a good, uh, good sets to kind of just play with. Um, there's not a lot of pressure. They're not really hard to get. Um, and, and again, they sent these over for review. Um, I'm pretty honest with them, so I will let you know if there's something that didn't work or I, I think, you know, needs improvement. But um, overall, I was pretty pro positive on these. I do think they require a little bit of adult help putting them together. Um, there's some smaller parts that kind of require that kind of help. Um, but uh, we got, God, how many sets do we have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, five sets um, to talk about tonight. Um, so we got the Ghost Clown with a balloon wearing Scooby, which is a really kind of fun um, little thing. I don't think I put the balloons together in the right configuration according to the package, um, but I mixed them up a little bit, they're fun. Um, if you watched last night's video, you know that Scoobies, all the Scoobies in these sets um, have different expressions to their faces, um, so it gives you a nice variety. Um, and the caps, all the hats are held on by like these rubber stoppers that are in the hats that fit over the ears. So it looks like it fits on him a little more naturally. Um, and I mean, as natural as it can look like floating above his head a little bit. Um, but you don't have to worry about it kind of wobbling and bobbleheading on him. Um, I will say this one has a rubber harness around him. And if you don't get it right around the barrel part of his chest, um, it does tend to slide back and forth because these balloons are, um, these are, uh, they're uh, plastic. They're hollow, but they're still heavier than that. So it will slide if you... Um, we'll see if we can see it kind of starts to slide over if you don't get it in the right spot. So I would say if you're not actively playing with them or have them posed like this, I might take the rubber strap off just because um, you don't want to lose lose the rubber strap basically or stretch it out too much. And then we have the uh, the um, the red ghost, right? The uh, the ghost clown. Sorry, um, ghost clown. So he comes with his file card that fits into the mystery machine. All the ghosts do. Um, there is a reversible head under here. So you've got the human head here, and then you've got the evil uh, clown there. Um, <clears throat> you just pop the hair back on. There we go. And you put his little hat back on, and he's ready to go. Now, the uh, body does come off, so he's a little bit bigger, and you can have him underneath. Uh, the shoes do come off as well. Um, a lot of these have the kind of shoes that kind of fit over. Um, who do we have next? Who's the next one? So we've got the um, the snow the snow ghost. Again, it's got a bodysuit on that you can remove um, the head underneath, unmask them, just like in every Scooby Doo cartoon. Um, this one comes with Shaggy with a uh, snowmobile. Um, that's kind of fun. It's got wheels on the bottom. It does roll. Um, you can't push it on the floor. It does have the wheels to kind of roll with it. Um, it kind of looks like it's going to jump. It's a, I, I think it's a really fun little snowmobile there for you. Um, it also comes with a bucket of ice that you can take out. It's hollow on the middle. And so you can fit all the gems that come in this set inside the bucket under the ice. So there's a lot of play features to these a lot. Um, and little diorama parts. So you get a little bird on a branch with this one as well. Um, and we get a uh, log, a hollow log that you can hide things in. Um, you get a set of skis that go for Scooby and he can ski down next to Shaggy on the uh, snowmobile. So there's a lot of like play factor for these, which I really, really, really enjoyed kind of putting together and getting to see um, as they kind of played out. So we've got the uh, snow monster there, the snow ghost. We've got, we'll do the, uh, We'll do the scuba gear here. So scuba set comes with um, the ghost of Captain Cutler. 
And then you get Scooby and so you get this Scooby with his surfboard because he's not going to go, he doesn't have his own scuba suit, so he's going to surf above the waves um, while Fred in his scuba suit with his air tank and his flippers and his flashlight, um, Fred can go underwater to go chase um, the ghost. And of course, the ghost has a nice big helmet to reveal the old man underneath with his crowbar that's looking for treasure under the water. Um, all these things, he's got the extra arm uh, pieces that can pop off. Um, so you can kind of pull these apart a little bit, reconfigure them if you want to. He comes with his file card as well that goes into the mystery machine. You get an eel, you get a crab, and then you get this big rock here. And you can hear inside the rock, if you open it up very carefully, doesn't go anywhere. You've got gold and jewels that the ghost is after or the old man's after. So again, the play features in these have been wonderful. So here's the uh, ghost clown set with the balloon Scooby. What do we got next? We've got the uh, we got the Hawaiian set that comes with Velma. Where are we? We've got Velma here in her hula gear with her Hawaiian lei around her neck. Um, it also comes with Scooby in a well, maybe not Hawaiian gear. Looks more like a Mexican hat. Um, with more of a surprise look on his face, which is kind of fun. Um, and then you get the file card, right? What do we got? We got the witch doctor, which with his file card. And so we've seen the witch doctor before. So the witch doctor we've seen in the single sets. And I think that he was in one of the other sets from the initial offering when they first got the Scooby license. So he's back again for another round. Um, it comes with a fire pit, a steel drum accessory. You can see like the play factor for these are kind of nuts. You get pineapples, you get a wooden bowl, uh, or sorry, not pineapples, watermelons, a wooden bowl. Um, you do get pineapples as well. So you get all these little things and we've got close-ups of all of it. We're gonna have those on the website. And then you get two clamshells and again, Inside the clamshells, I'm trying not to spill these. I spilled these so many times trying to put this together today. Um, so there's very, very small pieces. And inside the clamshells, you get diamonds. And there's about eight diamonds between both clamshells. Um, three clamshells fit in each, each one and then two additional diamonds that you can have out in your play set. And so you can kind of see it in the picture here as well. Um, <clears throat> and what else do we have? And all those instructions and then finally i think one of the funnest funnest is that a good one um was this one with the gray knight um the gray knight suit of armor um and oh they call him the black knight so the character is a black knight but he's in a gray suit of armor um he comes with his file card he comes with the helmet that can come off revealing him as human um the visor does not flip up because of the way the helmet's designed, um, but it does come off. So you can kind of see him through there. Um, this one just comes with a Scooby, but it comes with some of my favorite accessories in all the sets. So you get Artist Scooby with his little beret, his paint palette, his paintbrush there, as you can see. And you get his easel. You get some dog bones and hot dogs and burgers and there's donuts and burgers in some of these too. Um, you get some bones, you get some links of hot dogs and these wonderful, wonderful picture frames. So you've got Shaggy in here and a classic picture there. You've got an old guy who looks like George Washington. And then you've got the classic Scooby-Doo multicolored background. Um, these were a lot of fun. I I, th I think this might be my favorite set, to be honest with you. Um, it, it was the most fun to put together. Uh, I had a little trouble with the stickers. Um, so you're going to need your parents' help uh, 
not your parents help. Parents, you're gonna have to help your kids do these. Um, and uh, I, I just I think these are just really fun sets. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of accessories. There's a lot of cross um, crossover between each of the sets that you can mix and match parts. Like with the diving set, you can have Fred in the water and you can have Thelma up on the beach. And there's all these different play patterns that you can have with these. Um, so these five sets, we really want to thank Playmobil for putting these out and sending them to us um, for review. We're really excited about that. Um, and it was a blast. It really was. I thought it was going to be like a slog to sit here and put them all together because I'm trying to get you know the room clear and trying to do as many of the big reviews as we get to 365. Um, so, but once I started just building them and putting everything together, it was really fun. I kept opening them going, what's Scooby's face going to look like next? Is he going to be excited? Is he going to be scared? Um, what kind of outfit are we going to put him in? Um, so I got into playing with them too. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. So you can check out a full gallery of these up on casterscorner.com. Um, thank you again to Playmobil for sending these over for review. Um, we really appreciate that. And, uh, Follow us, subscribe. As we say every night, Jackson, we love you. We miss you and wish you were here. Um, and as always, we will see you tomorrow night for another Toy of the Day here on CastersCorner.com. Have a good night, everybody.